Hi everyone, this is Kathy Grosskirk with Bookkeeping Clean and Simple and today we're going to talk about the books review area in QuickBooks Online Accountant and we're going to show you how it's connected to the client bookkeeping tab and how those two things work together. Now, before we actually jump into the material, I would love it if you would like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. Share it with others or at least click on the notification bell to be notified of any new videos that I put out. My content is mostly geared towards the accountant user, but anybody that wants to learn all they can about QuickBooks is welcome to join us as well. Now with that said, we are in a sample realm right now called Adams Gill Gibson LLC. It's a sample firm and I've got several clients here and we're going to actually work in particular with this one down here called Terry's Tech Services because I know that that one is still active and the way you know that is you hover over that and if it doesn't say canceled on it then you know it's still active. So we are actually in the bookkeeping tab here. Normally it defaults to the overview tab but then if you click on the bookkeeping tab you'll see this whole area in regards to books review. And we are at the start of September, so some of these we haven't even started with the August review yet. But let's show you what happens when you actually click on any of these little icons here. And these kind of go into transaction review, account reconciliation, and final review. And that's where those three little things kind of gear towards. So anyway, right now we haven't done anything in any of these areas because you don't see anything th these checked off. But if we go into view details, let, and what this should do is take you right into the books review area. And just so you can see, I am just going to show you that for this, we're going to mark this as done. Not, not that it is done, but we're just going to mark it as done just for the purposes of you seeing this. All right, and then we're going to go ahead and mark some of these other things done, especially the ones with the zeros on them. So I'm going to mark these with done, and we'll mark this with done. And then let's see. I will go ahead and mark one of these other things with done. Let's go ahead and, yeah, review undeposited funds. We haven't done that. Yeah, let's see. Let, let's just assume we got bank statements. So we're going to go ahead and mark that done. And let's see. Check for personal transactions. I'm going to go ahead and put waiting here. So that way we and, and do a couple of things that we're doing here. Get cash transaction info. Let's say we're waiting on that as well. And the reason why I'm doing this, you'll see. And, and I'm going to say waiting on this too. So I'm going to actually go back to the... Practice. And as you can see, when we go back to the bookkeeping tab, we go back down here. You can see that we've got this thing right here in Terry's Tech Services. We open this back up right here. And you can see that those things show up in here. And the other thing that you can do in here is like I said you can go into any of these little areas and do the same thing and just for the heck of it let's just say that we have reconciled or, or here we go let let's say that we even though we don't have it done here let's do some of these additional items let's go ahead and say that we're waiting on this and that these are and these are done okay and then the other thing you can do from here is you can do a client request. You can create a new request from here or you can view all requests. So if you click on view all requests, you can see any requests that are in here. And then you can always add a request from here. And this actually opens up what you would normally see in the work tab when you're working with this. So, And we're not going to actually do this, but if you was to go into the, or, or, or once you submitted that request, you would see all those down here. And then you can follow up with a client for all of that if you want to. But I'm going to go back to practice, scroll back down, and as you can see, we're showing that the, each of these areas, and, and I haven't done anything with this section yet. Again, you would click on this area, and it doesn't matter which area that you click on. 
the final review and you know you can go in and, and what this does is it takes you to that particular section in books review and that's all it does so any of these that you may have that you're waiting on and let's say that we've already run or, or that we're that we've already run these just so you can see but I'm not checking anything being in waiting so I'm gonna go back to practice here and I'll probably have to switch over again no it went right back to bookkeeping tab and why did that not show up well it's because it's not all totally done but if you click on this you can go back down here and you can see that it's showing that those two items on are, are on here and the only time that it'll show totally green is if everything in here is totally checked green so anyway that is basically all I wanted to show you and like I said you know it's also tied into the work center to the extent that you have any work requests that you can create from from that same area as well and it'll show up in the work tab but anyway hopefully this helped you today y'all take care we will see you very very soon